At Haas, we started with the HA5C indexer, but we didn't stop there and quickly expanded to rotaries and trunnions. Now we have over 40 different fourth and fifth axis options for customers to choose from with platters that vary from this to rotaries that make you feel small to stand next to. While there are lots of platters to choose from, in this video, we're gonna focus on the HRT and TRT 160 and 210, their different platter options and the uses of each one. So let's begin with the most common platter that also comes standard on the HRT 160 and 210, the T-slot platter. The T-slot platter has six evenly spaced slots around the center which allow you the ability to mount fixtures or custom plates using T-nuts. Or, using one of Haas's optional adapters, mount a 6-inch or 8-inch manual chuck. Now this platter is also available on the TRT-160 and 210, however, they come standard with a second type of platter option, the bolt hole platter. The bolt hole platter has exactly that, a pattern of bolt holes to mount fixtures and adapter plates directly to the platter without the need of any T-nuts. Simply attach your fixturing using the threaded holes and then you're good to go. Other platters with a specific bolt hole pattern are the A1A5 and the A1A6 platters. The A1A5 platter on HRT and TRT 160s provide the mounting for a three or four jaw chuck and the A1A6 platter allows for the same on HRT and TRT 210s. However, the HRT 210 is unique in that you can attach one of Haas's 5C or 16C collet chuck adapters directly to the A1A6 spindle platter for work holding round parts with standard gripping sizes. Lastly, the final platter available exclusively on the TRT 210 is the zero point platter. The zero point platter uses a pull stud, dowel pin, and receiver arrangement to quickly, accurately, and repeatedly mount and switch between different platters. These platters allow full customization for whatever your shop's fixturing needs are, and the quick change capabilities make it easy to swap between different setups to reduce spindle downtime while you set up the platters offline. This makes it ideal for shops with a high volume or a high mix of parts. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.